Hey guys, today I'm gonna take a look at this Arctic Freezer 33 eSports Edition CPU cooler. Now some of you might be asking yourselves, wait a minute, didn't you already test that? The answer, yes and no. This essentially is the eSports one that I've tested sometime at the end of 2017. The only difference apart from the color scheme is the amount of fans. As the name already states, the eSports one comes with only one fan, whereas this eSports Edition is equipped with two in a push-pull configuration to basically maximize cooling performance. So at a price of about 45 US dollars right now, this could mean real power at a relatively low cost. But how much more power does this second fan actually add? Inside the packaging, the cooler itself, backplate, brackets, screws, a little bit of thermal paste and a digital user manual. Now altogether I've tested three different models of Arctic's Freezer 33 cooler. The original, the eSports 1 and now this eSports Edition, the most powerful version of the three. The two eSports versions are available in four different color schemes, all paired with black. There's white, yellow, green and red of course. Well, it's the that make up the actual color scheme. The heatsink itself is all black. As for the fans, these are Arctic's own Bionics F120 fans. They are pretty good, fairly quiet, especially at low fan speeds and there are some rubber pads in between the fans and heatsink to reduce any vibration noises that may could occur. Also thanks to that three phase motor in the fans, you can expect a really long lifespan, hence the 10 years warranty on this cooler. Just like on the eSports 1, this heatsink got the same so-called thermal coating treatment. This not only looks incredibly good, but should apparently help cooling as well. A nice extra in my opinion is the fact that each of the two fans comes with another fan connector, so you could plug in an additional fan and let it be controlled by the motherboard CPU fan header. According to Arctic, this version of the Freezer 33 should have no problem handling CPUs with a TDP of up to 210 watts, the absolute maximum being 320 watts. Then there's the same old direct contact copper base and four 6mm thick heat pumps. The main supported sockets here are Intel's LJ1151 and AMD's AM4. On Intel's side, there's limited support for LJ2066 and 2011 too, but only motherboards fitted with a square ILM 80 by 80 mm spacing are supported. And I gotta say, this is one nice looking CPU cooler. Not too big, not too small either. It should do all right, even for overclocking. So the installation went as planned, no problems whatsoever, and do not fear memory clearance issues. As you can see, all four DIMM slots can be populated without any interference of the cooler or fan. But how well does this Freezer 33 eSports model perform, now that there's a second fan attached to it? It's a nice push-pull config after all. Okay, two fans are better than one, but it's kind of obvious the additional fan doesn't help cooling as much as I had hoped for. It seems the heatsink is the limiting factor, but still there are slight improvements over a single fan setup. And please do keep in mind, the heat dissipation on my Intel i7-7700K CPU clearly is not the best. That's a well-known fact. But in general, this Freezer 33 does a damn good job. Sure, it may not be the best, nobody really expected that, at least I hope so. What matters is that it definitely handles and maintains that 4.8 GHz overclock very nicely. And the fan noise is minimal, on idle I didn't even hear the fans. Only once I started running Cinebench AIDA64 and in general put more stress on the CPU, only then I actually heard the fans. And no, those Bionics fans are not the quietest on the market, that's for sure. But would I call them loud? No, I would not. So at the 
the end of the day, the Freezer 33 eSports Edition cooler has some impressive performance and looks to offer for the money. Not a bad price to performance ratio. And this once again proves if you design a CPU cooler well enough, you don't necessarily need RGB lighting to make things look nice. And if you do miss lighting here, the fans can be swapped out for different ones anytime. Very easy to do if that's what you prefer. Also, I like the fact that you don't have to worry about clearance issues, it's more or less a fairly compact cooler. So I can definitely recommend this Arctic Freezer 33 eSports edition. It really does deserve my gold award. I'm impressed. And as always, thanks for watching.